The latest on Sasha Banks and Naomi is that there is still nothing official on the status of Sasha Banks and Naomi. But Sasha got a lot of play on social media when C2E2, which is the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo, posted that she would be appearing at their convention next month for a signing and a photo session, and she was announced under her real name of Mercedes Varnado. Now, that in and of itself does not mean anything. It's an entertainment convention. She had a role in The Mandalorian, and she was credited under her real name. She was not credited as Sasha Banks. But a report from Fightful that broke this week is the strongest evidence yet that Sasha Banks is as good as gone from WWE. On Wednesday, the official C2E2 Twitter posted a message welcoming Mercedes, and they they did put uh, Sasha Banks in parenthesis, welcoming Mercedes and said, whether you've seen her in the ring or as Casca Reeves in The Mandalorian, you are not going to want to miss out on this photo and autograph opportunity. So she is going to be there on August 6th and August 7th. That's a uh, Saturday and Sunday next month. She's not going to be the only wrestler at C2E2. Mick Foley will be there, Trish Stratus, Lita. Uh, They often have wrestlers that appear at these conventions. Sting, you know, I mean, some big names. They get to come to some of these conventions. Uh, I remember the first year that I went to Comic-Con and I had my press pass, which was a few years ago. Uh, Sting and Christian, Christian Cage were there. And the line for Sting was huge. You know, Sting was a big hit. I, I, you know, could barely get over to where the guy was just to see what was going on. There were so many people over there. So she's not going to be alone. But what got people talking was a report from Fightful Select on her asking price for similar convention gigs. And from this, people have deduced that this is what she must be making by doing C2E2. Her asking fee is said to be $30,000. I'm assuming that's for the entire weekend and not each individual day. I mean, I could be wrong, but for the benefit of this segment, we'll say that she's getting thirty grand for the entire weekend. This has sparked a raging debate about whether or not she is worth that much money. This, this debate has been fierce. People are taking sides. It has gotten very heated. I know this is very uncommon for social media, but it has. It's gotten very heated. A lot of people think the woman is full of herself for thinking that she's even worth that much money. Ignoring the fact that one promoter told Fightful that the number was exactly as expected for a non-wrestling appearance given her popularity. Especially with all the, the interest in her after walking out with Naomi, people are still talking about Sasha. And she hasn't even been on television in two months. Another promoter told Fightful that they would be more than happy to book her at that rate. And they knew that they would make that much and more from having her on their show. They believe her demand should be high given how rabid her fan base is. And the fact that she has not been part of the convention scene before. This is all new. And as with anything new at first, you can expect there to be a lot of pent up demand. This promoter also said that her rate is comparable to the going rate for Sting, with the only people more expensive being Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Bill Goldberg, and Shawn Michaels. The evidence that I was talking about that she is as good as gone from WWE is the fact that per Fightful, promoters were told that she was not taking pro wrestling related bookings until January 1st of 2023. That is the strongest sign yet that she's either gone or expects to be gone very soon and her lawyers are just working out the terms of her release. You know, at C2E2, I I went on the website to see how much the, the autographs and the photo ops are going for. Photo ops with Sasha are going for 90 bucks a pop. Autographs are going for 70 bucks a pop. Now, I don't know how the money is going to get divvied up between the convention and the photographers and anybody else who gets paid out of that. But if Sasha's getting a flat fee of $30,000, I mean, think about it like this. If they get 300 people willing to pay 90 bucks to get a photo with Sasha Banks, and you know that's not going to be hard to do, that's almost $30,000 right there. If anything, I think she's underselling herself. I actually think she should be charging more money. 
You could sit there and say, who does she think she is that she would request the same rate as Sting? Because right now, Sasha Banks is more relevant than Sting is. And I understand Sting is still on television, or I'm almost inclined to call him Mr. Stink. I love it. Andrade has poisoned my mind. But yes, Mr. Stink is on television still every week. Sasha hasn't been on TV in two months, but right now, Sasha Banks is more relevant than Sting. And because that the number her agents and her lawyers determined that people would be willing to pay to have her. That's why they came to the $30,000 figure. That's how they arrived at that number. They did not pull that number out of their ass. They did not pull that number out of thin air. They determined that this is the number people are willing to pay to bring her in. If there are promoters out there willing to pay $30,000 for Sasha Banks to come to their show and sit for photos and autographs for three or four hours... Why wouldn't she ask for that amount of money? She's fresh off WWE television. She's one of the most popular, not even female stars, popular wrestling stars in the world. Full stop. One of the best women's wrestlers on the planet. Why wouldn't she ask for that amount of money? There's all this mystery behind her right now where she's going to end up. Is she going to stay? With WWE, is she going to go to AEW? Is she going to go to Hollywood and leave wrestling altogether? What's she going to do? Whenever she makes that decision, especially if, let's say, she ends up in an AEW, there's going to be a whole new wave of buzz around her. She could ask for even more money. I see nothing wrong with any of this, and I find it hilarious that some people are acting so appalled by this. It's like celebrities on Cameo. There are celebrities on Cameo. I was looking to get a Cameo shout-out a while back for a friend for his birthday. Uh, actually, one of the actors from Seinfeld, who had a, he had like a minor role in the show, and honestly, I'm not even sure of what else he's ever done of any note in his career. But they were on there. They were on Cameo. My friend is a huge Seinfeld nut. I think the guy was asking for $175 for, for a shout-out. I could be off by a little bit, but it was so, somewhere in that ballpark. I think it was about 175 bucks. And I just remember, I, I looked at that and I thought to myself, for this guy? <laughs> like, there are far bigger names on Cameo asking for half of what this person was asking for. But he was offering 24-hour turnaround, which not everybody does. And from the looks of, of his page, he was getting tons of requests. I was watching some of the sample videos and he was getting tons and tons of requests. Other people, their going rate is 40 bucks. And I'm thinking to myself, why so low? People determine what they feel they're worth. If people are not willing to pay the money that you're asking for, then they'll have to reduce their fee. But if there are enough people willing to pay what you're asking for, it's supply and demand. A year from now, if she's off WWE television, maybe she isn't so hot anymore. Maybe people aren't talking about Sasha Banks anymore. But right now, she is. And I say good for her. I think she should be charging $50,000, to be perfectly honest with you. But that's the number that she and her team settled on. If they're wrong, she'll lower her fee. But it was funny reading all the comments from all the amateur business analysts this week on what fee Sasha Banks should be charging for her personal appearances. Remind me never to hire any of these people if I ever need an agent. <laughs> 